seen the I don't know if this is a breach of terms of service. Have you seen what they've been doing on the front page now on MW? No. They have a thing where if you go and uh, they're basically telling you to go wishlist the Dragon's Gambit DLC for Mech 5 and uh, post in the before a certain date, they will give every, that person or whoever, everyone who does it, 1,250 Mech credits. At 100 GSP. But you have, to play, you have to play one game before September 29th. Yeah, it sounds like it's manipulation of the Steam yeah, algorithm. Yeah, it seems to service. Do they do that for the Airy DLC, though? No. no. This is no. the first time they've done this. No, I remember them doing it with the other DLCs. They may have asked people to wishlist it, but they didn't pay people to wishlist it. No, no, you did get MC for it. No, I mean, there was the one where if you bought okay. Mech Warrior 5 early, you would get Mech credits and all that stuff with it, but that wasn't done through Steam, that was done through their own thing, so they could get away with it that way. But oh, I'm not, they, yeah, they, I know they, they put it on trying to get people to wishlist it at one point, but they didn't give you anything for it. It's it's a legality thing, is 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 the fine line here, is... is they're they're wanting you to go on to Steam, highlight it, wish list it. That's breaking terms of agreement because they're going to pay you if you do it. And you should see it. I went on. Yeah. I went. I went on it. See, they got it for Steam. They got it for Epic. They've got it for yeah. all of them. Microsoft, yeah. And hell, I'm not going to lie. I did it. I put my name on it. User entered your channel. I mean, I'm going to get it anyway, so. Oh, Holy well, shit, well, shit! Yes. Bar? In a change to our schedule programming. Hello, Hello bitches. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back. You dirty Hello. old man. This is true. Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, PGA did do this before. To get this. Hmm? What did you do to be able to get here? Hence the dirty old man. <laughs> you shut the bed. <laughs> oh yeah. shit! Something. I like your style, sir. <laughs> what are people wanting to do today? Do we want to do tabletop? Do we want to do NWO? This is now rare as for Varg to be here. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm easy as I tell the wife, and I've only got the hours, so. Uh Nope, Kulsh is here, so MW doesn't bother so me. Long. I don't care. I'd hate for you to show up and then not be able to play. I've got other things I can be doing. We all do. That's not the point. But I've been working so hard to go down in tier. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's do, let's do the MWO then. Do I have to? <laughs> I wasn't even going to play MWO. <laughs> I was just going to sit in the background doing fuck all. I'm more in favour of TTS. If it's MWO, I'll probably just do something else. I just don't have the interest in that game anymore. Oh, like I said, I'm easy, so... Well, that sounds like tabletop, then. Right, tabletop. Alright, well, firing it up, then. And this will be right about the time Subrat and all that jumps in and wants to play. <laughs> you fucking watch. You watch. Stop tempting fit, Tigger. Just go with it. Hey, welcome to jump in and play tabletop with us. I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, technically we're playing on brand, right? Yeah, Still we're man. practicing our tactics. Yeah. It is a legitimate argument. You're doing a toot. Yeah, tactical exercise with our troops. Wait, Baltic. Does not spell twat. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be the W. Would, it would be tactics without exercising troops. That would be twat. MWO uppercase. Okay. Oh.
Wrong password. Come on, Vogue. TLAs are the thing. Everybody needs a TLA. Oh, I did it wrong. It's an ass at the beginning. I don't know what the L is. <laughs> Letter acronyms. <laughs> Work in healthcare. My entire life is acronyms. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when, uh, and what's the password? MWO uppercase. Yes. And Vibe, it will allow me to know that I've got a ruler that actually has acronyms into it as a stencil. Oh dear. It also has map symbols uh, and other bits. It's a map marking ruler. That also just seemed kind of handy though. This is taking a while to load. It's because everyone else is connecting at the same time. Yes, and partially because I'm streaming the rugby in very good quality. <laughs> hey, priorities, man. Oh, I enjoyed nice watching one. Argentina lose last night. Because I can't, I can't, even patriotically, I can't bring myself to say that England actually won. I've been dreading this for like the last User two weeks. User your channel. Yeah, hey, I'm checking in. Hey, hello. 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 Dread dreading what, Tigger? The death from above. Ah, well, this is the thing. It's Varg's mech. So if he wants to do the DFA, he can. If yeah. he says, Joseph, he doesn't want to. I, I think I will. But oh, I, okay. just just so everyone's aware, with with every roll of the dice, I, I, am, I am swearing at you. Whoever. <laughs> Incredible choice it was to DFA with an irreplaceable... Star League Highlander. Oh, this we get to shoot first. special. I like how you Boom. put replaceable Star League. Ir irreplaceable. irreplaceable. It, it is. It's it's absolutely irreplaceable. Right, so GM shot first, yeah? Okay. Yep. So, um, Varg, you're, you're with the Highlander, right? Yep. Let me look at that. Yeah, yeah. I left it unattended right, for five then minutes. Then I'll be taking the big. longbow. Uh, hammers on the longbow. Uh, what were you in? Uh, I think oh, he was the catapult, wasn't he? Uh, that was no, I was something. I can't remember, actually, to be honest. No, I am the catapult. In the trees. Nobody's died yet, so all the mechs are on the table. So. Toddy's, Toddy's the thunderbolt. The... <laughs> oh, uh, hold your breath. Yep, I am the thunderbolt. Hammer's the longbow. Lying on my side. Thomas, uh, do you see the black hand at the end of the table? Behind the player max. Basically, in one of the corners where the orange and the black hand are spinning around a bit. There's a whole pile of record sheets. Oh, then I'm going to have to go with the Warhammer then. There you go. Thank I you, guys. Oh, weird. I picked up my dice and dropped them. They disappeared, and it's like, where'd they go? And then they just fell from the sky. Oh, yeah, if they fell from the they table. The there. table. <laughs> hey, Rocket, when we were playing Silica on Thursday, which game mode were we playing? Uh, we were playing the command one. If you talk about the air units, they're only in arena at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're looking at that. If you come on in line with the, yeah, anywhere in this sort of area here, you're good. All right, cool. Up to four hexes in that side, I'd have no problem. You may not want to be on that side of the water, though. Oh. That's the side he's coming in on, the. It, it's this going to be this corner. That's where we all go, right, right. basically. Uh, the Spectre will shoot at the Spectre. Uh, it needs sevens to hit. Didn't we do all the shooting? It was just death from above? No, we were starting no. shooting. We just yeah. finished moving, and I think Aldo made the decision for the DFA, and then we discussed what the DFA, when it would happen. It turns out it happens in the... Melee phase. If a DFA announced, the Highlander can't shoot at anybody because he is preparing to launch into the sky. Um, launch into the sky, fall off the cliff. Or just take a step off the cliff, yeah. He's in the air now, coming down for a land. Okay. Basically, yeah. All right. Misses with the large. How did my longbow get a mech right behind it? 
Misses with the medium. Yes, that was a question. Hits with the other I medium. Didn't, I didn't watch the recording of the last session, but from I'm getting the sense that, that mistakes Outdated. were made. Not uh, necessarily. We just were out run. I mean, it's a specter. It's fast as shit. Or a wolf out. It's fast as shit. Did so Tigger position all the max? Is that what happened? The wolf ran from uh, the middle uh, over the cliffs down into the bottom and has run back up around. So, somehow our uh, two fire assault mechs are uh, at the front. In front, yeah. Um, and an uh, irreplaceable, super expensive, uh, basically one of a kind assault mech is about to throw itself off a chuffing cliff. So uh, I'm calling that mistake. It's a very expensive mech here. It's going to be funny. Five damage to your right leg, Tigger, by the way. All the other shots missed. Okay. Right leg. Mm-hmm. But Who would like to shoot first? Highlander Burial. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's going to be a fucking burial, burial for someone if anyone is. Bagpipes intensify. Uh, I believe I can fire literally everything except for a single medium laser without overheating, and I will do that with uh, Gusto at the Wolfhound. And don't That'll forget be the th Thunderbolt th is currently lying on its side as well, Vog, because that fell over, so... Yeah, oh, came out of the water, tripped. Ran into a tree. Oh, Shall oh. I commence with the rolling? What do you need? What are you firing at? Sorry, Wolfhound. Well found. I'm within the minimum range of the PPC, firing three medium lasers and an SRM-6. Uh, I'm not firing a single medium laser just so I don't overheat. I ran last turn. Or yeah, ran that last turn. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, four, you can't overheat seven, eight, because you can go five over before you actually start having problems. You need nines to hit at short range. Yeah, okay. So and fire off thing. PPC, PPC would be 11. Isn't oh, it inside of the three hexes? PPC's minimum range is six. Oh, in that case, forget the PPC, just add another medium laser. Sure, my bad. Okay, yeah. It's, minimum it's, three, it's yeah. nine to hit the wolfhound. Okay, all the way around. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. Six, but you're only two under. Oh, sorry. Uh, hang on. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Belay that. Minimum is three. three. Short is six. Yeah. yeah so it's it's good. Good. You're fine. Bad, fine. No. We'll start with the particle beam cannon. It's a nine at this range? Uh, no, yes. Nine. yes. Oh, we both ran. That's right. Yeah, it, yours, you are four, five, six, uh, yeah, seven, eight, nine, because of his distance yeah. movement. Yep, yep. All right, here we go. Uh, start with the PPC. Come on, big money! So close! <laughs> All right, SRM sixes. Not a... Three lasers. First medium laser. Second. I need eight. Oh, here we go. Zero hits inbound. Absolute waste of firepower. Oh my god. There we go. No hits. Well, the Wolfhound was running like a madman, so... It happens. Uh, I guess I'll do the Wolfhound shot on the back of the longbow. Uh, so his is... Oh, yeah. Four, five, six for his run, uh, seven, eight for the movement of the longbow, and that'll make it nine because he's in, oh no, uh, ten because he's in heavy woods. So he's got quite a tough shot. Uh, it's going to be the ER large with the two mediums, I believe it's got. Is it two? Double check. One of them's rear mounted. Oh, let's see what he is. Uh, 20 in total, so 12, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, he'll do he'll do the laser and the and the two mediums. Tends to hit. Missed with the ER large. Mediums now. Oh, definitely yeah, missed with that. And the last one. Missed. Oh. Yay! Saved by the trees. What is the first engine crit? It's just five extra. Plus five feet, yeah. yeah. All right. I'll fire next if no one else has got what they want. Go for it. Eight's at short range. Eight so for assume, everything. I assume you're shooting the other specter, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Fire yeah. everything. Yeah, you need eight to hit. Okay, starting with two medium lasers. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, that's a hit with both. 
Uh, red is the large laser. Green is the small. All right. Both missed. Okay, so two mediums hit. Yep. Uh, counting as the right side, because he only twisted to shoot his, his weapons that turn. So, eight and Ooh. headshot. No, no, that's a possible engine crit double one. It's double six for a headshot. Uh, yeah, it's CT crit. Uh, so, right side. So, uh, one of them was location eight, the other one was the one, okay. Oh, hang on, it's right side, which means double one is only right torso. It's not a CT. Uh, it'll be right torso crit. Yeah, it'll be right torso uh, crit uh, roll anyway. Uh, hold on. Let me get this sorted. Spectre. So five. location eight is the left torso. Takes five. And the... Uh, was it right side? Yeah, right torso? Yeah. 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 Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so you do get two crit rolls because that has gone internal. Okay, so yeah, you've got two crit uh, rolls on that side. Seven and mm, six. No, Ooh. neither of them are crits, unfortunately. But yeah, any further hits on that right side is definitely going to hurt. So I did a grand total of 18. Ten yeah, two mediums, yeah, 10. Uh, don't think there's... Oh, wait, there's the Saracen. What would that fire at? Let's see. And my, and my heat, heat is two up. All right, so my heat's done. My damage is done. Varg. For the love of God, please be fucking kind. Okay, so... <laughs> That's only so kind of the dice will let me be. Cheat or something, please. I thought we wanted to land on the other one. But if it misses, then Rocket gets to pick where it lands for the next roll. Mm-hmm. So it will land on one of the specters. Potentially, yes. It's the domino effect that I'm. If it misses about. both, then it will just pile into the floor and do stupid amounts of damage to itself. Why is Tigger so small? That's He's hoping not to be jumped on. Do we know how <laughs> far the Highlander moved? Because it doesn't seem to have a dive. white asking that all the time. Mm, no, but I don't think very far. It's only no, it was three or five movement. Yeah, it it jumped, didn't it? Oh it no! It, no, it didn't move at all. Yeah, it started its turn there. Yeah, fuck, that's right. Um, so it's not immobile. It just doesn't have any bonus. Okay, so. Okay. Well, a quick question: How did my longbow walk five or six? I think that's just the dice you dropped. No, oh, it, it wasn't here last session. Yeah, otherwise the dice would be huge. Let's be real. It wasn't five or six. It was a three or four. It was walking into the woods because it was over here somewhere. When it, yeah, it, really yeah, went, it walked okay. three or four. You went two or three spaces. You may have used three or four movement points, but you only went like no, two no, or three it, spaces. It, yeah, it was, a, it was a short little walk. It wasn't a... The longbows walk three, run five, so the run dice was clearly in air. Uh, the walk dice Steam was bug. clearly in air. Adam? You are lying on Steam? Yes. Ah, right, okay. Maybe. LRM, LRM hits. Uh, the Warhammer's not starting four in, or right there, is it? Yeah, it's starting four in. Right. Anywhere up to four in, so yeah, anywhere in that sort of area. Okay, okay. hits. That's a full walk, so you definitely want to start in for because we're, we're going to need, need that fire. Pier. Oh, yeah, Vog, if you look in the uh, the debrief channel thing, you'll see the most rulerous ruler that has ever ruled. Because <laughs> our Thunderbolt's going to need some help here right away. 
He's got a Lars on a cliff with a ghost rifle and LRMs could have laid down some fire for him. <clears throat> well, on so, the next what do you want me to shoot then? Well, there's two bulldogs and there's a Lance of Mechs coming. So those are the ones I think you should concentrate on. We've got a Highlander, a Guillotine. I think the only thing he can currently shoot at is the Saracen. I think Which isn't a bad thing either. Yeah, the, the Saracen and the uh, Spectre. All right, Varg, five damage to the right arm. Or the Wolfhound, right. too. One damage to the left arm. Get the Saracen. All right. And two damage to the rear CT. On the Highlander. Yikes. Yeah, it's the uh, Saracen, like, basically dumps all of its missiles at the back of the Highlander as it zooms past. Oh, what? Which one of these bulldogs is the one that's injured? Probably bulldogs. One of them took a mono hit before. Alpha. If it's a motor, then that, it one, say on that it. one there. If you hover your mouse over it longer, it comes up with the uh, other information. That is a very rulery, ruly, ruler culture. Uh, play a shot. The ruler to rule them all. I assume Longbow or Catapult is taking a shot next, or is it going to be the, the Whammer Jammer? I can go. The late reinforcement mech. Okay, so you walked. The Saracen is in medium range. Yeah, the it's 11. The is in long range, yeah. It's 10 so away. it's medium with the PPCs. I'm going to use yeah. both PPCs. Yeah. Uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, e tens. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. You got your other shot. You roll per weapon, so. Oh, oh God, I'm lucky. <laughs> just went higher. <laughs> Okay. Um, I think it's the vehicles uh, for Uniman or the uh, the other lance moving in because all of the slot over here have fired. Yeah, yeah. I might as well have Bulldog number one having or Bulldog Bravo shooting at the Thunderbolt. Ooh, what is your range for that weapon? Five. It's within short. Uh, this is going to hurt. Not necessarily. It's the You're pro, so it's hard to get yeah, it's a prone is plus one or plus two. Let me find that quick. Plus two. Yeah, plus two. So, short range, but it's four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, because he's in heavy woods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the SRMs on it would be medium range, so yeah, that yeah. would go to 11. 11. Wow. Oh, the large hits. SRM number one. Yeah, it's a miss. Ah, miss, okay. So, eight so points. The mech is lying on its right, isn't it? It fell on its yeah. right side, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's four points. Uh, no, uh, location uh, location four, eight four. points. So it'd be left side you're shooting at? Yeah, uh, fell on its right, so yeah, it would be his left side. Left arm. Yeah, left arm takes eight. Uh, so, yeah, longbow or catapult? Which one of these stupid mechs are we shooting with LRMs? Well, the charger's probably the least one we need to worry about. The Hell Spawn and the Axemen are probably the most dangerous. So Axeman, since it's like 45 tons? <laughs> Axeman, 65. Oh shit, it's the bigger one. Yeah, it's the Axeman. I don't know uh, these things. One. Unless it's an MWO, I don't care. Hell Spawn's not, uh, <laughs> Hell Spawn's not something you should disregard either, though. 
Okay, Hellspawn it is. The Hellspawn is full. I say the Shadowhawk is the real danger. <laughs> the most threatening machine on the field. Well, it's definitely Dumb one of the maneuverable. Okay, since I'm going to get blown up and by being shot in the back next turn, thanks guys, um, I guess I'm going to shoot uh, all my LRMs, so two RLRM5s and two LRM20s. Just roll four sets of dice. Just two sets of two also work. Um, at the X-Man. That's uh, 15 range. Oh, I thought we were shooting the hell spawn. It doesn't matter. I don't They're mind next to each other. Dump that ammo on that right torso. Oh, uh, yeah, they're both exactly the same range. Um, they are 15. The, uh, the hell spawns at 14. So the axe man's 15, the hell spawns 14, which would make the one medium range the one long range. So the Hellspawn gives you an extra plus two, essentially, to hit. Okay, so we'll shoot the Hellspawn. So that'll be eight for the Hellspawn. Seven, six. One of them hits, doesn't it? I have an 11 yep. and an 8. Yeah, so those two. Now, what was what there? I, I don't know what's going on with this table. Ooh, yeah, four sets of die. Which one was LM20? Which one was LM5? Oh, we didn't pick. We'll be charitable. One of each. I'm happy with that, yeah. I don't mind. Uh, number of missiles on both. Roll two sets. All right, we'll go LRM 21st. Okay. Number? Four. Uh, nine. Roll again. Six. Uh, three. So five, five, and two. Yeah, it works for me. Seven. Four. Five. Right arm, right leg, center torso. Okay, you can see he's taken uh, across the CT and right-hand side. Uh, he's still got some armor, but you can see that the right arm is beginning to look a little bit scarce in the armor side. Okay, Catapult. Finish him off. That would be wise. I'm um, going to look at the Bulldog firing at the Thunderbolt, at Bulldog Alpha. The Hell Spawn's 12 from the Catapult. Medium range. Is there going to be sevens or eights for the Bulldog? Irrelevant because it's a nine. That will take eight points of damage to location 10 on the left-hand side. Someone's got that. Uh, I'm hoping Totty. Yeah, location 10, left-hand side. Where, where do we even look? Did you just see uh, that bloody run from William Slenderman? Okay. No, I was looking at the... At the Ten on the left-hand side is the right Sorry. arm, apparently. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, right arm. Right arm for eight. 
catapult to shoot. All right, so it walked. Rather odd, it's lying down on that It'll arm. It'll be eight if it's shooting at the house spawn at medium range. Five, medium range is two. I'm going to put my fire. I'm going to do a shot at that bulldog with the medium laser, and I'm going to shoot my LRMs at the other mech. Which one is the primary target? The missiles. So the missiles are nine to hit the health spawn. Gunnery of uh, four. four, isn't it? Four, uh, four five, uh, seven, yeah, it'd be nine, sorry, for missiles. Uh, and tens for. Oh, no, nines again. It's one less defensive. So it'd be nines for both. Just say what the dice are rolling for. Rolling top down. Just miss. That's a hit. So it's a medium laser. Was that LRM? Which one you? That would have been one down. of the LRMs because I rolled from okay. top down. So I rolled the medium laser first, and then the LRMs. Each weapon rolls. Are you firing only one medium, or are you firing? No, it was just one medium because I don't have the okay, key okay. for it. That's fun. One LRM or two LRMs? Uh, all all the tubes. Okay. So both LRM fifteen. Another one. Ooh, nope, just missed. Shit in the left torso? No, no that's the missiles. Number of missiles. That Which was number, number of missiles. What was the number? Eight. Uh, so it's nine, nine missiles, nine. so five and four. Roll two sets of dice, and that's your locations. So, Center. Your location eight. Uh, left uh, also? Two eights, both of them on the left also. Nice. Okay. So just all nine damage there, I guess. Right, so... Okay. As I said, the left torso is beginning to look very patchy. You can see there's uh, a slither of armor left there. Oh, that's all player shots done, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we roll around to um, any of those mechs over there if they're firing. If Lovely. not, we go to the the dreaded. Only one of them has a long range weapon, and it's not worth shooting at anything. Initiative. Oh yeah, no, it's not. Sorry, I'm thinking yeah. No, okay. it's the it's the yes. role. It's the DFA. Oh, I am so kicking. Where Varg is going to be uh, rolling his difficulty. I have some what? dice. Why are we, we doing, doing DFA, DFA again? Uh, <laughs> because it's <laughs> funny. Cool. That is a question, isn't it? Uh, this was not my choice. Seeing as he's in my front arc, can I punch him? <laughs> If your mech isn't flat, yeah, but the DFA, I believe, by the rules, priority, it gets to happen before any of the melee attacks. Okay. Because one, he could hit, and he lands on the Spectre, and the Spectre gets knocked away one hex if it doesn't outright get destroyed, which means you wouldn't be able to melee attack it anyway. Um, or he lands on you, and you don't melee attack anyway because you're flat. Yeah, because it's all coming but essentially between the shooting and fight phase. Well, the difficulty is nine. How about it? So I've got a uh, pallet skill four. Uh, Just two dice. Yeah, yeah, four, yes. four. Two dice, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the, okay. the roll is nine, whatever that is. Yeah, difficulty is nine. Oh. Oop. 
I lost one. I passed that back. Ooh. Seven. Ah. Right. So, yes. Being the target of it, I will have it that you are now falling on Tigger rather than on me. So now you have to roll it again. It's the same difficulty. Oh, dear. Oh, fingers you, crossed. You want to miss. You want to miss. Which he oh. does. Oh. Now Tigger oh, no. gets to determine where the Highlander falls. You can't pick me. You have to pick a hex around me and you, Tigger, for it to fall into. Uh, I would imagine it's going to be any of these. Well, it's got, it's got to fit where the torso thing is, is, doesn't it? Because it can't go past me because then he's falling too far away. Well, I think it doesn't really matter at this point. Since he's I think it's an off. empty hex around you yeah, is where he would fall. It's dropped Which three levels, so what's that, like 90 that, feet? That adds extra, uh, each height level adds extra damage, yeah. Tigger, you yeah, live, you live near Gumby, exists. right? Uh, no. <laughs> is this the battle oh. equivalent of the Samoa Joe? Does Where would you want to stand up? Hexes? I just want someone to slap him around the back of the head for this choice. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's a good or bad location for him to set down in. I will so set him quick. against the wall behind okay. me. Because then this way he's away from the specter. All right, now we see which way he falls. Because if he ends up laying down, I don't want the specter standing above him, shooting him in the back, because it's an expensive piece of hardware. It's irreplaceable. What, you think? All right, DFA rules. What now Tigger is concerned. Damages now. Uh, so on an unsuccessful attack, the attacker automatically falls, taking damage as though they've uh, fallen two levels, although this is modified uh, based on the height. Uh, you roll on the facing after fall table first to determine which part of your mech you're about to fall on. <laughs> you you want to put some more salt in that wound? Uh, the right okay, says, it's supposed to be but nice. the hit location for this damage is always the rear. Damn. Oh, goody. So you're either going to fall on your left, right, or uh, CT rear. Uh, so, yeah, I... Uh... 1d6. That place I also took damage this turn. Yay! Yeah, visual on that D6. Varg, why did you decide to do this? I didn't. I wasn't here. <laughs> Some retard jumped me off a fucking cliff. <laughs> I know that wasn't my choice. I, 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 I declared the DSA, but it was ultimately Varg's decision to go through with it. It's not my decision. It's, it was declared action, you dullard. <laughs> 1d6. Let's see where this destroys the mech. Uh, who's, who's rolling this? Can we just eject and start this campaign over? <laughs> <laughs> can, can I just wait until my, my, my mech is supermaning into the floor and then eject into the floor to make doubly sure that, that, that I'm dead? Is that, is that an option? Well, if you eject, you may go into the cliff face. That would be funny. <laughs> just stand next to the longbow. It's about to blow up from the ammo. All right. So are, are you rolling this rocket? Oh, for where you where you take the damage. Oh, or do I roll it? Like, how does you it work? Uh, I mean, you, you might can roll it if you want. All right, let's have a see. I'm trying to find the bit where how much extra damage is added based on height. In the three. Oh, fall. Okay, falling falling damage. Yeah, because there's a height modifier, isn't there? And he's at height three. Facing after fall is on page we, six. I don't know if that makes a difference to your looking. We established last time it's essentially the exact same rules for charging, but for falling distance. Uh, sorry, did you want me to roll it, Varg, or are you rolling it? I rolled it. I rolled a three. Right, you rolled a three. Three is two hexes to the right. So you and land on your right side. On the right side. So this is this will, damage will go to the rear right also with the Mac. Oh, fuck. I'll get my pen ready. We'll probably destroy it. It's not, it's, not, it's, it's not as bad as you think. It's just your weight divided by the tonnage. It's, yeah, it's, it's then back. multiplied for every hex. You've yeah, multiplied for the three hexes he just jumped. Well, it starts at two, so arguably if it's a a two if I do it from ground level, then it's probably going to be more like five, but anyway. Oh, look! The not in any way, shape, or form irreplaceable ghost rifle is on the right hand side. What a shame. Well, we're looking at this bit here uh, rather than the arm. 
Uh, uh, it tells you ammo. <laughs> so uh, at least it's got some more. It's, it's at least it's on XL. Exploits, so. If it was an XL engine, this would be a lot scarier. Falling damage to a mech. Okay, so whenever one unit charges or DFAs another, compare their piloting skill rating, ratings, use the difference. Okay, that was what we did. All the normal attack modifiers apply, including the attacker's jumping movement, but the role is not modified for terrain. Mechware automatically takes one point of damage. Yeah, that was just the attack modifier. It doesn't actually give me the damage. So your pilot takes a point of damage for the rough landing. Oh, a fall deals one damage equal to one point for every 10 ton that the mech weighs rounded up, multiplied by the number of levels plus one that the mech fell. Oh, should say multiplying by four. Yeah. Yep. Divide that damage into five point value groupings, assigning any remaining points of damage to an undersized grouping, and then you determine a hit location for each. For example, a mech that suffered 33 points of fall damage takes six five points and one three point uh, hit, each assigned as a separate hit. You then use the appropriate column of the hit location table as a specified facing af uh, so from the facing after fall. Seven fives and a one. Yeah, I'm so confused. Isn't it all supposed to be localized in the legs? No, because nope. he failed, so he's fallen. He's not landing on his feet. Catapulted myself off a cliff for some reason. Uh, okay. And landed on his right side. Tumbled. So, so this is how what you have to picture. He jumped off the cliff onto the enemy specter. Somewhere on the way down, he hit an outcropping, something like that, and he ricocheted, thus falling towards me. On his way down, I managed to not get hit, whether or not because I was too far away or whatever, and he ricocheted again off the cliff facing, and now he is on his side back. I'm not right, sure. Right side. So he's on his right side, now laying on the ground beside me. Potentially about to explode. So, okay, well, do you want us to roll damage for you? Or? Yeah, yeah, roll it away. So the okay, so right outside. To... Starting in the rear is 10. At location 10. Yep. All right, so somehow that's the left arm takes five. I suppose if it clatters against the chassis. Mm -hmm. and... He tried to grab a branch on the way down, pulled it out. Six. Okay. okay. Um, right leg takes five. Five. Uh, right arm takes five. Yep. Six. Right leg again. Seven. Uh, that is uh, rear right. Okay. Ring, ring. Three is right leg again. I think this is the last one, isn't it? You said it was seven lots of five, was it? Seven fives, yeah. So one more of these. Yeah, this one is more the last five, one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, last one. Uh, Twelve. Oh, that's head for five. That's another pilot wound. Then it'll be the last one point is eight. Uh, that's CT rear for one. Okay, you've taken two pilot wounds in the process of this, which means you now need to roll 2d6. Uh, it's down here. Uh, I've got my hand spinning. Uh, you need to roll uh, five, above five, basically. If you roll one, two, three, or four, your pilot's unconscious. Do I roll the crit for the head hit or not? 
What's that, sorry, man? Okay, you are. Uh, there's no crit. There's no crit on the head. No, it's um, double 12 is just hitting the head. Double one okay. is a potential crit inside a torso. Oh, I rolled a nine for that. Oh, right. Well, yeah, if, if he had actually taken a crit, yeah, that would have been bad. Uh, right, so, yeah, you your pilot is awake, but he's banged up. So where are the pilot wounds bit again, sir? Down here. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Just under here. So you've taken two of them so far. If you take another one, you've got to roll uh, seven or more to stay awake. Think of it this way. It's like playing sports. You've got a concussion. Don't worry. I know the cure for that. You kick him again. <laughs> Uh, you get up and you make him run until he pukes. That's the way it was always done with me. Right, so... Melee attacks. I can punch! Who, the Highlander? I mean, I mean, you can kick him off <laughs> down, yeah. Uh, I know I will be wildly waving my uh, arms in the air and using harsh, harsh language. Uh, can the spectre punch? Because he shot with the right arm, didn't he? If he shot with the, the lasers, he can't punch, can he? Uh, any arm that has fired will not be able to. I believe that means neither of the spectres can punch each other and they can't kick each other because they're not facing each other. That will leave the wolfhound. Wolfhound will probably go for a kick attack just to do some damage okay. to the longbow leg. If he can. Uh, so it's minus two, so two, three, four, and uh, five, six. He's six with the, uh, the trees. Okay, he hits. Uh, leg kicked is on number four. Don't know which leg that is. Uh, it's on the rear, isn't it? Uh, left leg. Okay, the left leg is kicked. And the damage is rounded up because it's a five on the tonnage. Uh, seven points of damage to the left leg. Hammer. Uh huh. I kicked your longbow in the left leg for seven points of damage. Thank you. Uh, that looks like. Yep, yeah, that's all the melee, so now it's round to. Um, finish stuff. Yeah, that's finish. That was a reasonable game, by the way, Vog. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Africa. Um, a couple of really good runs there. Scotland Rice. probably deserved to have a couple more points on the board. Yes. They played well. And there were a couple of penalties, which I think should have gone the other way as well in the beginning. Uh, you need double six to win this. Tired, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, so players move first. Does the Highlander standing up count as a move? It'll count as two movement, or no, half movement, isn't it? Yeah, something crazy like that. Basically, he can get up and then he can uh, pick what position he's facing. Yeah. And I think he can walk. He can't run. I think it's pretty sure he can walk. Can't jump. Okay. He has to roll piloting to stand, doesn't he? Yes. Shall I think I our that? first person to move is going to be that Warhammer. Why not the Thunderbolt? The Thunderbolt's, Thunderbolt's got to stand. That's got to stand up as well. Uh, which and is I got a six. Yeah, it's all right. You, just, you beat your piloting, so yeah, you get up. You can roll yours if you want, I'll just see what you get. Uh, yeah. Yep, you can get up as well. Cool. Yeah, and the first one's four from Salt. Um. So when, when it's your turn, you will stand up and you can pick what your facing is. Right, yeah. Uh, if you want the Spectre to get behind you, that's why I said the Warhammer should move first. Uh, 
Who's moving first? Artemis. Um, yes. So when Wait, you stand up, it costs two movement points. Sorry, what was that again? It's your turn to move, Artemis. Okay, cool. So you just remember run into the water. So whoever stood up, you're minus two movement points. So yeah, Vogue, you could walk one hex forward or you could run three. Minus two movement points mm. and you cannot run, right? Uh, I think Tigger's read that right. It's, it's movement, you just lose the two. I'll double check it. <laughs> it says right here in the book, uh, successful attempt uh, costs two movement points. When you stand up, you face whichever direction you want. Uh... Heat, it only costs one extra heat to stand up, and then you have whatever movement points you have available to your Mac. So if you if your running has seven, right, you take off two. You got five movement points if you want to do a run. All right, I moved. You might want to maximize your movement and move as far as you can because that well, makes it harder. Then. All right. Well, no, because you can walk four, right? So each space only takes one. Yeah. Well, I turned one to, to face because I was uh, there. If I face. Yeah, it costs you one point to turn, two to move. Right. One yep. turn back, yeah. Yep, uh, I've moved the axe man and the house bomb. Yeah, they haven't moved yet. Uh, player to move. I think our third bolt needs to uh, retreat. You can't, or can you jump? Okay. He can jump. You got a jump of six? Minus two. Jump on the Thunderbolt. Oh, ball. yeah. So you can jump two. Wait, there are players are jumping as well? Yeah, yeah it's it's two well, jumping points. is movement, so yeah. Oh, damn. But if, if his jumping is six... No, his jumping is four. Oh. I was asking, is the jump six, yeah. Totally, this patch of desert, and then you can't really be jumping into you trees. You don't have to pay for your turning because you stood up to face what direction you want to be going. So if you you face yeah. the if you stood up facing the light trees... Right? You could just run through them. Because it only takes an extra movement to go through trees, right? Uh, for light woods, yeah. So each light woods is two movements, so that's four to get, or five to get to the, the desert square. What's your run? Uh, six, eight with mask. So you could... Eight with mask, you could go six with mask, so two, four, five. You he just has again. to stop in the light woods right here because they can't target him two hexes in. He's not visible. Mm, would mean he wouldn't be able to shoot at much if that was the case. So oh, you'd back to a move hand on the other side, potentially. He'd and they have better off yeah. jumping. Yeah. yeah. That way you can land in the uh, last wooded hex and then face in the direction of any threats. You can jump in the deep water and remain hidden. <laughs> yeah, and then point. flood with holes. You can rotate still if he has movement points left, if he's going to stay. No, no, no movement points.
Hey, I know I asked last week, and you said if they did hit me while I was taking, quote, cover, like from the level three on a level two here, um, it would be the punch table. But is there a chance it hits the actual terrain, or is it just if it hits, it hits punch table? Which Walt, sorry? If the guillotine were here, basically shooting over the top level. It, it, it works in the sense of if you roll to hit, you hit. And if you don't, then, yeah, it hit the ground. Cool. It's it, the only thing different is the angle that you can see because once the, that's three high, so once they get within two spaces of the wall, you can't shoot over it to them. You're gonna have to get up on the wall to shoot it because you don't have yeah. the angle. Yeah. Yeah. But you'll have half cover. You'll have partial cover if you're down there. So anyone far away, you'll have cover. But if so, anyone gets uh, close, you're supposed to move. And we're now at one to one again. Okay. Yeah, the guillotine. Yeah, I don't mind moving. Uh, that's why I was asking about that, because my plan was to essentially just walk back or over really quickly and just put my neck right where I dropped him. Because that allows me, I can't shoot at the specter, can you shoot at the wolf hound, but these more distant targets that are coming in are what I really want to shoot at. Hellspawn, Axeman. Does that make sense? I'm just checking because I'm not an expert on the rules. <laughs> That was a walk one. So just to clarify, I would be able to engage with these guys at a distance, but not these guys close up, correct? If you are where you are now, yeah. I'd say, yeah, you can see over that, that ridge line. I've got no problem with that. Okay, I will. Uh, you can see it across the river, yeah. Do I need to make a walk uh, roll if I just take the movement to turn around and then turn around again, or is it a walk, roll to walk backwards? I forget. No, you can walk backwards down yeah. that hill. It's not just your movement cost. Yeah, it's not a problem. Okay. You, you don't, you don't lose. Uh, it's not double movement to walk down one either. Okay. From where you are with your guillotine, you can shoot at the mech, but if it was a vehicle, you couldn't shoot because it would be below your sight line. Yeah, mechs count as height two by default, whereas vehicles are height one. So they can hide behind like level one hills and stuff like this. Yeah. If I've got no problem with if Solo's on that level he is now, he can see everything across the river. Yeah, I agree. With the, that. with the range, I'd say he can shoot the vehicle across the river. If it was this side of the river, yes, I'd say vehicles no. But across the river, I've got no problem with them shooting. If any of those across the river were to return fire, they would hit him and it would be on the punch table. Yes. But that's there's a lot of ifs in that, so <laughs> Well, okay, that seems to simplify things. My movement is complete. Thank you, gentlemen. It's one heat for walking, right? Yeah. Yes. Coming in behind you. There we go. Another mix moved. All right, I moved the Saracen. Oh, you, okay. You moving? I'm running into the Warhammer sights. Who took my vehicle movement die? I certainly didn't steal it. I don't even know what it looks like. Ah, oh, there it is. No, I just copied it. You want moved to... five. There we go. So, just so you know, uh, Solo, you can't see it, it can't see you. Yeah, fair play. Uh, players to move one? Okay, so it's the catapult, the longbow, my specter. Yeah, specter and yeah, that's it. Yeah. And There's you the got... four of us in the lowlands here. They have to move. Still. Oh, and the the highlander that's just yeah, like yeah. sticking out in the sand. I think the highlander should go. Nah, I'm gonna go last. No, I, I don't think right. he should go yet. Oh, Christ. You can't attack if you're in depth too, right? You can't be seen. 
You can't shoot. No, you can't attack. You can't be attacked. If you have any holes in the mech, though, you will take flooding damage. But provided your armor's intact, you're okay. I believe the catapult's all right, but yeah, it, it, going into depth two really doesn't benefit you in any way. That would be a jump into that as well. Which, Which would be a pilot skill check. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, jumping into any of the water is still a pilot skill check because it's an uneven surface. The shallow stuff here, I'd have no problem. That's just. That doesn't count as depth, essentially. All right, then I'll go. Okay. Yeah, just remember that the where the feet are facing is the front of the model. How do I make the arrow again? I mean, do you want it facing that way with the torso twist toward the vehicle? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, yeah, that's that's okay. I think the only thing they can shoot you anyway is that's Harrison, so. Yeah. Well, the other Spectre and the Wolfhound didn't move yet. Yeah. Oh, they're just abandoning me. Well, you're just a fire support DNA unit DNA. with only a small laser to protect yourself. I mean, what, what's what's the problem? <laughs> uh, Are you moving the charger? Okay. Yeah, there we go. How many hexes did you move, Tiggy? You could put die down. Ah, uh, did you jump eight? eight. You, did you jump eight? Ran. I don't know why that one's there then. Run, okay. <coughs> you run. I got dice. Because I can run 11. Yeah, okay. it, it's 7. Yeah, it's seven. Run, yeah. Right, so catapult is going there. Right, are you facing that way, yeah? Uh, I can't get... Can I get... I can get attacks right there, right? From the health pond. Don't forget that the... Uh, um, Wolfhound's still gonna move. From the health pond. The health pond, he's looking through two forests. He you can, can but it would be a plus two to his difficulty to shoot. Yeah, you could attack him with one less difficulty and he can return fire. Three no, lightwoods! Now I'm good though, right? Yeah, the, yes. the, 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 that would block line of sight. I, I'm fine with that. Yeah, the heavy woods and, and the two lights either way, yeah. A light yeah, and right. heavy blocks complete shots. Three lights yeah. will block a complete shot. Two heavies definitely block a complete shot. Uh, do you want me to move? Do you want me to move? Uh, I'm just working on movement. No, it's okay, you move them. There we go. I think you should move next, Hammer. That way, the Highlander to move to. Yeah, that way the Highlander can take last movement to get support for you. Can I move through the where the Wolfhound is, or do I have to? No, you can't move for an enemy occupied hex. I'm doing everything I can to support you, but my pilot missed every shot. <laughs> Sorry. Can I walk backwards out of the woods? Is that a pirate yeah. skill check? No, you can walk backwards out of the woods for Yeah, I'm going to probably that. So your movement would, the three points would be the turn and then walk back, and that's that's a walk. Because you can't run backwards. Yeah, 
Moonwalk. You can move one more back there, because it would be one turn to the left, one more back. Do you really Maybe want you want to be in medium range for his missiles. Yeah, also the you potential cover from that. the trees. Yeah, you can walk one here in the hex behind again if you want to. I mean, oh, but I feel like good. that makes me like a straight shot to the bulldog then. Yeah. Well, you do have trees in between you, so you do have cover. Right now I do, but if I move one yeah. back, I don't. Stand in front of my max. Stand in front of my max, man. Move, move into the light woods in front of the catapult. Because then you're short range on that hell spawn for your missiles. But missiles have a minimum three to engage. The hell across the river. Yeah, that would be a, that would be a range of seven. Yeah, it would be short range. range. Well, we can hope the wolfhound decides not to move. <laughs> That's got the added benefit of not having his back to the wolfhound. There's that. Well, I, I have four medium lasers, so if the wolfhound doesn't move. He's going to get hurt. How many of ours are left? Because they have two mechs that haven't moved. Oh, we have one. We have the Highlander left. They have to move one more time. He's walking into the water? Running. But it's a walk to go into the water, because that's uh, four, five of his movement points. Then it becomes a run to go into the trees. But you can't, that's a run movement. You can't run into water then. I can if I do a pilot skill check. May you fail your role in pilot go nose first. This is a very, very real possibility. Fall and drowned. No offense, James. No, <laughs> he did it. He's not falling over. He's trying to boogie board his mech. And yeah. he would successfully pass the second one to go into the trees. Yeah, even plus one. The uh, Highlander. Hmm. All right, Varg. Dazzle us. First things first. <laughs> like that, so yeah, stand up. You want, right? So I can stand up facing any direction I would like to. Mm -hmm. Yes. It just costs you two movement points. Spectre hasn't yeah. moved yet, I'll just say it. Yeah, I was wondering that one. So I don't want my ass to be hanging out in this general direction. Um... Turn one to your right. You? Yeah, I might do that. I was hoping that I'd have been able to be on the the enemy side of our fire support mechs because it's still making my ass twitch that for some fucking reason they're our front line um, <laughs> and everyone else is running off. <laughs> it's just like guys. Yeah, we're on the the front line. Do you now see the situation I'm in? Uh, 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 not to be unkind. Um, you did run off on your own and decide to take a bath in the middle of the river. Shit happens. So, yeah, I'm going to turn this way. So my back's against the wall. Mm -hmm. so, so staggering, my pilot bleeds, spits a bit of blood out of their mouth, and then just falls back and leans on the cliff, considering whether or not to just <laughs> run off. Question. Because <laughs> they, they've had a, a moment of bizarre... Um, delusion in which they thought it was a fantastic idea to fall off a bloody cliff. What? Why is this are you movement facing, guy? Just a move? second. Are you facing the dice, or are you facing to the to where in between the catapult and the dice? His feet are currently facing the dice. I'm so looking at the. Because if you put your yeah. if you put your Highlander so it's facing the dice, that's your entire forward arc. So then you don't have to do torso twists or anything. So I want to have the Wolfhound. And the spectre for the moment Jesus in my Christ. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop fucking around with the die that sizes, sense. please. Also, that's a helicopter movement die. <laughs> what? It's green. It's got a fucking helicopter on it. For Christ's sake, <laughs> fuck. Like, stop titting around while we're trying to sort stuff out, please. There we go. There's a mech die. Which I promptly steal. Okay, so I'll give another one. Thank you. 
Um, yeah, so I'll be here, back to the wall. I can shoot the wolfhound in the back, hopefully, next turn. I've got, hopefully, threatening the spectre so it wants to be somewhere else, although I have a feeling it's going to run right round behind Tigger and blow him in half next turn. I think That's it's going to do the gu probably the guillotine. Nah. Well, we don't no. know where the guillotine's moving, so... Yeah. Uh, guillotine's moved. It's the spectre. This is the last yeah, one. Spectre, yeah, spectre, sorry. Yeah. I... I I know where I'd put it. Anyway, um, that's me done. Yeah. Uh, Spectre to move then. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to uh, hop off uh, for the okay. night. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. Sure. All right. Enjoy the night. Yeah, see it. Go cool. check it out. All right, see it. User disconnected from your channel. Okay. That yeah. is either the six. bravest or craziest motherfucker I've seen. Can't he not get punched now from... Oh, yeah. He's in the uh, forward arc of the Highlander. Don't and the catapult. He's a missile mix. Yeah, yeah missile so, mix with no arms, so they can't punch. And due to their facing, they can't kick him. And um, if the Highlander also, fires his SRM-6, he can't punch because he used the weapon in that arm. Yeah, and I'm also under. I'm probably no, don't look like as much of a threat because I just bounced off every rock on the way. Yeah, the cliff, he, did, so. he did just watch the pilot do a fucking <laughs> backflip ollie off the uh, cliff and smash into the floor and half kill himself. Yeah. Solo, you cannot shoot the specter. It's no. too close. It has to be three spaces away for you. You to could shoot at the wolfhound as Naman said anything across the river, though. I've, I've, yeah. That's. Pretty, yeah, that's pretty it's common sense. I smell right? Artemis landing two crits in the rear with his PPCs for the Spectre, yes, sir. Yep, now we shoot first. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to shoot rocket? Would you like me to shoot? Uh, I'll go first. He needs seven to hit the Thunderbolt. Okay. Uh, he's keeping under heat. He are large two mediums. He are large hits. Medium misses. And oh yeah, definitely the other medium misses that. Right, so just the ER large. Uh, it's right side. Hitting location. Ooh, eight. CT. So CT for, uh, I believe it's, I think it's eight damage. Yeah, it should be eight damage at Yacht Lodge. Yeah. Yeah. So CT rear? No, just CT. It's it's not your rear arc. Yeah. It's the front. Imagine it like he's firing at the side of your mech and it somehow hits the, the front armor plating while you're like wiggling the torso yeah. around. The little belly sticking out. <laughs> yeah, the little thunder belly sticking out. Yeah, it gets, gets skimmed by the laser. That would be one of you to shoot. I'll shoot. Okay. I need eights. Yeah. Eights. That's the Saracen. All right. So I need eight with the large laser and ten with the uh, mediums. Okay. Large laser. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Both hits. Oh, nice. Yep. Uh, on the side of the Saracen, yeah? Yep. So, into the side, one's 11 and one is 4. Uh, what are the weapon types that hit, sorry? Mediums. Mediums. 
Of lemons. Okay, so eleven and four. Eleven and four on the side. That's turret and side with a uh, motive. Motive is eleven. Uh, that is quite significant. Right. Okay. So that is definitely a destruction because that would take it to 13. Yeah, so the Saracen uh, is immobilized in that spot. Nice. Yay. Still capable of shooting, though, correct? It can still Very much. Very much. Can we can surround we... it with mechs and demand the crew evacuate? Then we can take it as part of our own. Yeah, I'm sure you'll have tons of time and, and turns to move all that around while well, there's uh, an assault, uh, two mediums and a heavy with two bulldogs running around in your rear line. Yeah, yeah I, I think if you take this hostage, it'll be a good idea. I am all for the heavy yeah, if, moving that way. If all the if all the fire supporters want to turn their back and walk over to that hill, it totally won't take advantage of you in that respect at all. What they meant to say was, is once the battle's over and the battlefield is ours, then yes, we can take that, because they're not going to fight it out. Ah, well, at this point, by that time, they'll have scuttled the vehicle. Uh, it will fire its triple SRM-2 at you pretty much the same time you're firing at it. Uh, it's at medium range, so six, uh, Question seven, is, eight. Nine, do I get eight. partial cover? It needs 11s to hit you, Tigger. I, I don't think you're going to worry. Plus, it's SRM2s. Uh, missed. Uh, definitely missed. And last one. Missed. Okay. I'm not saying my sphincter didn't tighten a little bit there. It's SRM2s. I'm damaged pretty bad, so... <laughs> Any hit's a bad hit. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> the other Spectre's missing all of its right torso armor, and the other bits, it, yours is intact. Well, it's not my fault he's an idiot. I mean, he's taking on two assault mechs and a heavy. I mean, he's brave, but he's, I think he's fucking retarded. He's winning. He's shot you in the back, <laughs> and he's he he shot one of the other retreat. heavies in the back. You ran away from it. I was getting rid of the Saracen that was causing problems with all of our guys. How? It, look at the positions. It. How is he going to? How is he going to harass anybody with that? Where you've left the Spectre now with the ability to shoot the fire support units because you ran off to go fight our light vehicle. This is a good thing for Davian. Let's run with it. <laughs> Ooh, can I shoot? It is to shoot. Yeah. Yeah. So it turns it to fire. Yeah. Player turn. Amos, did you say you want to shoot? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, both PPCs at the uh, Spectre, I believe it is. Yeah. 13 away. That's long? Uh, yeah. So you walked. That's one. Your skill is four. That's five. It's long. That's four. Nine. Two. Nine. So it's nine. Eleven. Eleven because of his movement. Oh, I, I was rooting for that when I saw the six. Roll again. Yep. Magic dies. Oh, God. <laughs> you, your next one, you want to like move, walk straight up. So you're ready yeah. to the water because that'll give you a range. Because then you're in medium range and your modifiers will be way better. Bulldog's turn. Uh, I mean, if I fire the spec, that's all this side of yeah. it's done, okay. and then Naman can do all those shots. Uh, let's see. Ooh. What would he shoot at? They've all not moved. Two of them, though, don't have cover from trees. Uh... Do the wolfhound. I've already fired the wolfhound. It hit Totti's yeah, CT. Fired it and expect, uh, oh. and then the, the side of the river. He's going to... He'll continue his attack. He'll shoot the longbow. Okay. 
Uh, firing all of his weapons. Torso twist. It's fine, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be right side of the Yeah, hit with the large. Miss with one medium, and last medium uh, hit, so large and medium hits. So, yeah, Hammer, you're taking eight points of damage in location 10 on the right side. And the other lot of damage, uh, nine and ten, basically, so eight and five. Left torso. So left torso for eight, is it? No, left arm, isn't it? Left arm for eight and left torso for five. Okay. Where's the other... Did we destroy a bulldog? No. No, it's in the woods. Yeah, he's in the trees here. Ah! Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Got the damage. It's got one shot. I think, yeah, it can only really shoot one target. Yes. But it'll be players to shoot. I mean, I don't mind. Um, I was going to shoot at the bulldog. Um, I've calculated out, I believe I need an 8 with the PPC and a 9 with the medium lasers, plus whatever his movement penalty to my shot. His movement was 3, so it's 1. So I need a uh, 10 and 9 respectively. Did you work out what it would be to shoot the wolf under the back, just out of curiosity? It's a level 2. I didn't know if the Martin... No, no, we said before, the, the wolfhound is, yeah. is a viable target. It's on that the, side of the river. The difference is the wolfhound's in heavy woods. Yeah. So that adds plus but 2. Can, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, actually sure. an easier Potential. shot. We it's an easier it. shot on the bulldog, unfortunately, yeah. 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 Okay, I was just thinking potential to kill us all. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm easy. Make a quick, uh, uh, you know, you guys want me to shoot at that one or that one? I got better odds than the bulldog, but we might kill the other one. Uh, shoot Three for medium lasers and a PPC. I think medium laser side... will be long. So the side armor on the bulldog is going to be a little weak in the front. So you, you've got good odds of doing damage to it, plus... You know, if you hit tracks and stuff, they I, could do I more don't know what side is open down there because it did take more of damage. I'm going to shoot at the bulldog. We're just going to keep it simple. Yeah. All right. So I need a nine to hit with the PPC. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, and here's the three medium lasers. Each we need ten. Nope. Yes. Nice, nice. Nope. Five points of damage to... Seven. Off the Perfect. side. So just scrolling to the same one. Seven on the side is on the side. No motive. <laughs> well, at least it hit something. But yeah, you can see it's drawn a nice little line on the side of the tank. Uh, beyond that, it doesn't appear to have suffered any other damage. It's just a, a big chunk of armor gun. I should say a chunk of armor. It really does give you the scope of how these fights could go on for quite a long time with normal shooting rolls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so Bulldog is going to have a go at the Thunderbolt. It's going to be eight to hit the Thunderbolt. Everything is in short range. So one large, two SRMs. Large laser hits. I'll be right back, guys. Somebody's up my okay, okay. And second SRAM hits. Uh, of course. Just watching those both SRAM fours. Uh, so large laser hits in location eight on the rear. Oh, that's rear right, left. isn't it? Uh, I think so. Rear right. Left torso. Left torso. Okay. So rear left, okay. 
Number of missiles, SRM-4, is two, assuming one. A roll of two on SRM-4, sorry, is yep, yep. just one missile, yeah. And a roll two, of three. five, which is probably... That's two, left three, four, arm. Five, six, yeah, left arm for two damage. And then the other SRM is 11 for missiles, which I'm assuming is four. 11? Shit, yeah, that is all four SRMs hit. First location is location nine. Uh, right torso rear. Location seven. Uh, two CT point rear. Eight. Yeah, these two two point six. Location eight. Uh, that's the left torso again. Uh, location nine. Uh, that is the left leg for two. Uh, I think you have three crit rolls for the left torso. Oh, Jesus. I think low. Six? Nope. Need eight or more if it's going to be a crit. Nope. Seven. The last one? No. Okay, so no crits are scored. Uh, uh, you, you can see that Thunderbolt is r looking rough. Yeah. Okay, before I die, I'm going to do a torso twist here and shoot the hell, shoot the, this thing. Wolf Wolf found. Uh So it'll be your right arm weapons and... Okay, so your right torso. You walked. No, he ran. I ran. Ran, so that's two. Wait, what's shooting? Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. So he's at six. He's at short range, so there's nothing. The wolfhound moved. Wait, but I'm torso Seven, twisting. So nine. it would. So it's three, so that's nine. And he's in heavy woods. That that's 11. Nine. Nine. So it's the ER, and I believe that's it, yeah. No, four, five, six. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about the weapons that are available. No, I'm saying he needs 11s to hit. Oh, uh, four, uh, five, six, uh, seven for his movement, uh, uh, eight, two nine. For the yeah. His skill is four. Yes. Six for the run. Yeah. Seven, and then seven for the movement. Yeah. His and then seven two for being in heavy three. woods. Why is it plus seven. three? Because if you three? look... Target movement seven spaces is plus three. Was seven? Who's what? Seven. I asked how are far you did it move. Are you actively trying to sabotage no, the player from shooting, shooting at this point? Wolfhound. He is shooting the mech next to him. He's the wolfhound move. I, I didn't three. see it. I was asking what it was. Oh, sorry. It's no, on the it's die. Seven. It says it's three to nine four. To roll. Nine to roll. What weapons? Uh, I believe it's just the ERPPC, but it would benefit from the targeting computer, so the difficulty would be reduced by two, I believe. So uh, by one. So. Oh, is it by one? Okay, so eight. Okay. So, okay. so wait, so even if I do a quick torso twist, it'll still just be the arm? Because it's well, almost um, behind you, yeah. God, where's the, uh, uh, where's the front? No, it's a forward arc. Well, it's, arms can turn 90 degrees... Rotation of turret puts right torso, and anything is it anything CT mounted? But yeah. It's not the left torso. Um, and he has no CT mounted weapons. All of his other weapons are his left torso. That would be his twist. Would be there. So it would be the torso could fire. But, yeah, he do, but he doesn't have any weapons in that torso. And he doesn't have any weapons in the CT. Yeah, so just the PPC then. All right, so I fire the ear PPC. Okay. Definitely got fingers crossed for that one. Uh, the bad thing is, is distance. It is. It's Eight. No, to ER, no minimum range. Oh, that's right. It is a hit. 
on the front. Uh, location 7. ET for 10. Last shot. That, that would be CT in the rear, right? No. no. CT in the front. Yeah. The rear's facing you. Let me mark it. Yay, I do said that before I die. Uh, you can see almost everything's gone. Again, that armor is holding on by a thread. I can relate. You just need to turn around <laughs> and back up. Because the uh, Warhammer will be able to cover your back. You need to dump that ammo in the left torso. Just use your medium laser and PPC. Yeah, the other bulldog will shoot at the longbow. I'm just checking range. Uh, it's going to need a 10 to... Yeah, it's going to need 10 through the woods. And it's two lay woods. That's a bonus. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's so high. So, yeah, large loads and this is the longbow. Bring it on. <laughs> uh, players to shoot. Uh, I, think, I think I've done the math on this. Am I at a... What are you shooting at? To hit the, the hell spawn. spawn. Who's shooting? Let's shoot seven swarm. spaces away. What's your range? Seven minimum. Or yeah, seven you're, uh, short. You're at short. Six that, minimum. That's fine. That's going to be so, five. Eight. So the, what he's saying is, is your skills four. You walk, that's one. Uh, nine. Uh, the... The woods led one intervening between us. Three. It's an eight. Nine. Because uh, you uh, skill four, one for your walk. Um, you get one for the trees, and he moved one for the three. Trees, three. So, so yeah. that's that's eight. seven. Uh, hang on. Four, five, Do the trees don't count eight, though because it's nine. indirect fire? But then you'd have to have a spotter doing the indirect, and their movement penalty would come in. But his Rem his view is the best. The trees are too high as well. The only one spotting would be um, Soto, but then you'd have to add his plus one to shoot anyway. So either way, you get plus one through the trees or through the spotter. And what would be my two hit on a long range medium laser? Uh, the plus range two to that, 11. A uh, long range, uh, plus four. So it'll be 13. Okay, not shooting the lasers. It, it would be a hell of a roll. I, I'll definitely give you that. I mean, if I roll doubles, I get to roll again. Monopoly rules. Your <laughs> medium laser, medium range is six. What are you rolling for? The five or the twenties first? So that's medium. Okay, so if it's a medium range on the lasers, it'd be twelve. I thought of eleven. Okay, we'll roll two medium lasers first. Okay. Okay. And nothing. Yeah, it comes close. Yeah. He uh, walks two LRM fives. Okay. Oh, one hit. Uh, yep. Two LRM twenties. 
Which one head. Let's go together. I'm yeah. confused. Uh, the two darker ones go together, and the two light colored ones go together. Okay, so, so one, one, one five, five, one twenty. Roll for the five. Yep, yeah, just looking at some nice right hand side. I have rolled a eight. On five, for number of missiles, eight is three. And snake eyes. Do you want to do that for location then for that? Sure, snake eyes. Okay, that's three points to the right torso. And LO20, number of missiles. Six. Seven. Uh, Twelve. Uh, seven. Uh, Twelve still. So two fives and a two. I'm going to have to... Hey, I'm back. I'm going to have to leave a little early, guys. Ten. <laughs> ten. Okay. okay I, so don't, I don't like these black dice. I can't see the middle dots. We'll just roll the right ones. Take care, dude. Yeah, no problem. It's great hearing from you, Varg. Uh... Just work calls. Uh, I got a call right after I got done with playing with the neighbor at my front door, so life happens. <laughs> did, uh, did you shoot uh, at shit. all? Uh, I did. And an eight, okay. Shot the bulldog. Yay, I achieved something! <laughs> good for you. Good I know the start. feeling. You need to go. See you, all. Hi. Hi. Good luck, Des. Bye bye. 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 User disconnected from uh, the channel. You'll see that the Hellspawn, you can clearly see internal components now on the right hand side of that mech. Were there crit rolls? No. Just enough to remove every last bit of armor. So the Hellspawn no longer has any armor on the that torso. Um, is it the fire? Yeah, Hellspawn will return fire with LRMs. And he's going to need tens. And the LRMs miss. Will it be players to shoot? Just one LRM? Uh, he's only got an LRM 10. I thought he had two LRM 10s. Uh, no, just one. I am going to do all of my weapon systems. I'm going to split targets. I'm going to shoot the Wolfhound first, and then I'm going to shoot the uh, Hellspawn. So medium lasers times four into the Wolfhound, and the pair of LRMs into the Hellspawn. Okay, so the Hellspawn is medium, and the Wolfhound for missiles? Lasers. Lasers, so that's medium as well. That is I, like point blank for lasers. The, what are you talking about? Uh, are you oh, talking about the Spectre? Yeah. Yeah, Spectre, he can't see the Wolfhound. Uh, there's two more. Oh, I got the mechs wrong. Yeah, the, the one standing next to me. Yeah, Spectre for mediums. And LRMs at the hell spawn. Yeah, I'm going to roll all the lasers first and then the missiles last. Mm -hmm. Can I Google what variant hell spawn that is? Give me a moment. I will happily tell you. Yeah, your computers will tell you what you need. Uh, hell spawn 7D. Missed no. the first. Hit with the second. And the other two. Can I go and knock at the door right now? Uh, missed and missed. So one medium hit. Yeah. Oh, yes. the, the, missiles, the missiles for the hell spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold on. I'll go work out for you so you know you're rolling. Uh, you said you're at medium range on the missiles. Uh, so it's uh, four, I'm five, four, Same as hammer nines. Seven, eight. Well, it'd be elevens, wouldn't it? Because it's a secondary target. Yeah, it's um, plus one yeah. for a secondary target. Because he just ten, fired all the mediums at the Spectre, yeah. and then he's turning and firing that. Yeah, yeah, ten. That's fine. Ten is good. Okay. Yeah, ten. Okay, they're both missed. Ooh. So, 
So a single medium laser hits the spectre lo uh, location for the hit. Uh, Hammer, the house one does have two LRM-10 launchers. Seven. Okay, CT hit. Oh, okay, okay. so you only fired one. Got it. Yeah. And they could okay, use the mechs are here one. for refit and repair. So the good news is that the Hellspawn is, is a model that carries an XL engine. Well, you, you see, I looked the Hellspawn up on Sarna, and I'm looking at two LRM-10s, and I'm like, he's yeah. yeah, two. They're not firing both. Like, I, I mean, do you, what, what do you want? Do you want, do you want the mount to say, oh, yeah, the other one's an <laughs> arrow launcher? <laughs> That'd be a little bit hard. Let me bring some mechs like that. I'm I'm more worried about it getting close and using its three medium pulse lasers. To be fair, Shh. okay. <laughs> maybe so, hammer. Maybe hammer. It doesn't have ammo because it was a repair bay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah no. So I had uh, plus one modifier to fire for my next round. Okay. Mech wise, I have nothing that can shoot. Uh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm being stupid. Uh, Shadowhawk will shoot at the guillotine. Because it can see it. Partial cover. Uh, uh, yeah, it'll be shooting at the punch table on that. Um, uh, there is no axe on the axeman hammer. You guys saw when it left the, the hill, it wasn't carrying its axe. Uh, the auto cannon will be firing at medium range, and the missiles are firing at medium range. So two. Uh, going to be nines. Do LRM5 first. Misses. And misses. So that would be us. It would be Highlander. Yes. So can I see through this um, spectre in front of me to target the back of the wolf end? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it doesn't physically block your shot. Sweet. Remember, the squares are 30 meters across, so there is a little bit of latitude there. So, hmm. Six X's away. Is that what's happening? He's punching them? No, no, no I can't, I, I'm not going to punch, because it's going to be more worthwhile damage-wise, I'm guessing, if I can shoot things. So, Well, you can torso twist, right? And then the, the all those mechs are in your forward arc. Oh, that's the thing. Um, the, the Wolfie is going to get my longer range weapons. Oh. I promise that the Wolf is going to get my Gauss rifle, my LRM. Mm -hmm. And um, secondary is the Spectre, yeah? Yeah. No, that makes sense. Okay, so it's SRM, two mediums at that, and the LRM and the Gauss at the Wolf Hound. Yep. Question. What, your right, secondary weapon, are you sure you want to not put it into Spectre because you can do a physical attack. You could kick. Or no, you can't. I can't because you know. it's not right. Yeah. Yeah. Could and you I punch well, with that? I might as well shoot rather than punch, though. You'll do your weight divided by 10, so... So that's 9 damage as opposed to 2 sets of 5. So uh, where is the front more, of the Highlander? chance to hit. And an SRM as well. And an SRM. Yeah. Is here well, the front or here the front? Because it looks like it's here that's at the front. The front is, yeah, is facing this way. Uh, you facing that here? way? Yes, where the green the dice is. Why is someone moving my mech? I'm turning it so it's facing, ah, okay. my feet are facing that way. Right. That's fine. Okay. That's a torso twist is what he's doing. Yeah, so yeah, that's fine. I'm going to go first at the wolf end so it can have oh. the ghost rifle. Please, the, the Spectre's already fired Hammer. You have not. No, this one here has got plenty of ammo and health. There's no problem with the Spectre dying. 
yeah, he was just talking about okay. the one that's up there in the upper corner of the map. He was talking no, about I want, spect- I want this spectre to die. So what? next question. Why? Do two wounds to my pilot add on anything to my to hit? Am I? No, no, no. no that's just, just pilot a pilot skills. rating. Right, Groovy. So technically, right. I stood up. Is that a walk? Is that a... It's plus it's... one. That'll be your... Okay. Yeah, because you're not immobile. You you yeah. got up effectively. Groovy. So it's five base. Uh, short range for the missile, so there's no penalty there. Six, seven, eight, nine with the missile. Uh, it'd be the same with the Gauss. And right, secondary on this. him. Uh, yeah, you, you do those. I'll work this, the other short range website for you. Thank you. All right, Mark. Dazzle <laughs> us. No. No, right, you no. need Your secondaries will be eights. Oh, that's yes, a hit. Gauss, right? Ooh. Ooh, nasty. Okay, so the Gauss is going to hit the back of the Wolfhound. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you need eights to hit with the two mediums and the SRM6 okay. on the Steve Spectre. Us. SRM first. All right. Oh, no. Nope. Ah, I saw the six. No, 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 yeah. One. Oh, no. no. Medium number two. No. no. Okay. Okay. Gav so is still a hit, pilot's though. still a little unsteady on his feet. Yeah, I can I can forgive the pilot for this. Um, but yeah. He was too so, busy cheering about his goal set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I roll hit location. Yep. Yes. If this is hitting the rear arc. It's two dice, isn't it? Yep. 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 Three. Three. That's a leg. Oh no, it's a right leg. Sorry. Uh, hang on. Uh, right arm, sorry, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, so well, that's right a last laser at least. Three's the left leg, isn't it? The three's that's uh, in the rear, it's right arm. It it's square in the rear. Oh that's right. It's right rear. Uh, so that arm takes fifteen damage. What's the crit rolls for that? There's no crit rolls. There's no arm left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so the shot cleaved through the arm, r- sliced it off, and the remaining damage went into the right torso. Excellent. So uh, yeah, it's lost its ER large laser. Yeah. Excellent. No. That's that's so good. Have to salvage the parts from from the mechs that we kill here, Rocket. Mm. Good for Tardy. Thank oh, you. Hit her out the way. I, I had oh, hoped right. to take it down so you could at least retreat, Totty, but um, yeah, I rolled that shit. Sorry, dude. Tough shot. Yeah, it was a good attempt. Uh, any players left to shoot? I don't think so. That was the last. Yeah, but you shot your two PPCs at the uh, Spectre. Yeah. Uh, so, melee attack? Uh, Spectre will kick the catapult. Okay. I don't know why Hammers keep screaming about the Spectre being killed because it's not going to kick him because it can't. I still say the Spectre here. If, if everybody targets it, it will die. That will probably die. Everyone shoots up. <laughs> Vengeance. Uh, let's see your difficulty on this. So. Um... Oh, yeah, five. That's what he needs. Okay, so yeah, it kicks. Uh, leg that is kicked is number five. Uh, right leg. Right leg takes, or oh, I'll suspect his weight again. Is it 35? Yeah. 35, yeah. Rounded up, so it's um, seven. Seven points of damage to the right leg on the catapult. Jesus. Yeah, kicking does more damage, but if you miss, you have to do a pilot skill roll. Yeah, you fall on your ass. Oh, the first damage the catapult has taken. And I'm assuming the wolfhound? Yeah, yeah, it'll do similar. It will also try to... Uh... Oh, no, you know what? It'll go for a punch because the left arm... I'll double check this, but I'm pretty sure the left arm on a wolfhound does not carry a weapon, does it? Yeah, uh, it has no it weapon. It doesn't. Yeah, it's just got a fist. Yeah, it will try its battle fist. So it's got difficulty four, five, six, where it's wrong. Uh, seven for the trees. Yep, so it needs a seven to punch. If it misses, it doesn't have to do a pilot skill roll anyway. Yeah. Yep, that's a hit. 
This does hit uh, location on 2d6, which is number 8 on the right side. That's the CT right again, side. isn't it? Yeah, it is right, isn't it? Uh, CT44, I believe. Double check. Yeah. Yep, CT takes four points. This is front, though, at least. Yes, not the uh, uh, torso rear. Combined damage, what has that Thunderbolt taken, though? Because it took... Um, it's taken uh, it's quite a bit. This will be at least a piloting check, yeah. Yeah, it does. Because uh, if it's the first pilot skill check, and if it's taken 40, has to do a second pilot skill check. He's done a fall, so as Nice said, that'll... He should have one pile of damage already. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah, he's alright. Seven. Yeah, he passes that. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, eight. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's passed that. That's no problem. Do we want to do initiative now? Yeah, then you can wrap it I up, unfortunately yeah. have to leave, gentlemen. No cams. It's the end of session anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, six. Alright, Miller. If the roll average, it'll be. Initiative. Yep. Um, you guys are uh, obviously moving first. It'll be so. GM first. Mm -hmm. I've put enemy movement first. Okay. All right, drop out. Okay. Well, okay, doggy gentlemen, that's it for me. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, go, mate. Just again. All right, guys. You guys take care. Arm us up. Bye. Yeah, you too. Bye. User disconnected yeah, from I the have saved again. Did the wolf have